Day 1. This is the prophecy. Isaiah 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin will be with child and bear a son, and she will call his name Emmanuel. This is the fulfillment of the prophecy. Matthew 1, verse 23. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. But when he had considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Now all this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. And Joseph awoke from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took Mary as his wife, but kept her a virgin until she gave birth to a son, and he called his name Jesus. The land of Judah was being invaded by their sister Israel, but God would have none of it. He would not allow Judah to be conquered, so he asked King Ahaz to name a sign of Israel's destruction. When Ahaz refused to, God said that he would provide a sign in the form of a child. This child would be given through a virgin, and his name would be called Emmanuel. God promised that deliverance would come through the birth of a child. Writing to a Jewish audience, Matthew's intention was to show that Jesus was the promised Messiah, the Son of God. To do so, Matthew often referred back to the Old Testament to illustrate that Jesus fulfilled those prophecies. He believed that the birth of Jesus was the fulfillment of that promise to Ahaz over 800 years later— that God, in the person of Jesus, had finally come to visit his people and bring about not just national deliverance, but a deliverance from sin, the ultimate enemy of God and his people. By defeating sin, Jesus would remove the barrier between God and his people, which climaxes at the end of the gospel when Jesus shares, Behold, I am with you always. Today's Reflection The child was a sign that God is with us, and Jesus was that child. When and where have you recently noticed God showing up in your life? Today, ask him to make you more aware of his presence in your life.